Um, what does the timeline of this new record look like? When did you write? When did you rehearse? When did you record? I think we works. Uh, I think yeah. I think we started writing it in January. Yep. Of this year, and it was recorded in I want to say Mar April. Yeah, right before Warped Tour. So yeah, it was the spring of this year of 2012. Yeah. And um, it was much more. F um, it flowed a lot easier than the last record, um, where kind of like we would fly in, write some songs, go back on tour fly in to record some songs, go back on tour. This one, we took a chunk of time, um, wrote the record, recorded the record, and then toured. Yeah. And, that, and that's, you know, Dirty Work was awesome, and I love the way it came out, but the, the process of making it was disjointed. It, 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 it was tough to get into the flow of things, because... We're not the kind of band that really likes taking breaks. Yeah. We haven't really taken a break in like six or seven years, and we just, we don't like taking off two months of touring, you know? We like to constantly be still playing shows. So we have to. Yeah. We have to. Yeah. We're not a band that you know can disappear and not expect another band to take our place. You know, we know who we are, and we even know how fortunate we are to have garnered the fans, and we can't let them down by not touring or by not putting out new music. So we're always, yeah, bam, bam, bam. With having five albums already, is there a, a strict method? You said you said you wrote the record yeah, like no. it happened overnight. Yeah, yeah. every record is kind of different. Um, yeah. We made this one unsigned, so we had a lot of freedom to do whatever we wanted to do. Yeah, and it was also the first record since um, nothing. No, I'm sorry, since so wrong. It's right that we did with just one producer. Um, before that, we would fly in and do different producers and stuff. This one was just Mike Green, and like once I what I once again it was just very. Um, there was just a continuity to it, you know what I mean? A nice, easy flow. Everything's with the same guy. We all had the same goal in mind. It was, it was awesome. Don't Panic is not a song on the record, but why is it appropriate as a song? Uh, I think a lot of the, the, the theme of, uh, a lot of the themes of the songs, like lyrical-wise, are about your life changing, uh, you just going through things that you've never gone through, and just Don't Panic is a way to kind of deal with it, you know, just yeah. to kind of relax and chill. A, a big part about it, um, you know, over the past two years, with what we went through with Interscope um, in the U.S. and all that, and we, you know, a lot of fans kind of, when they heard we were signed to a major label, kind of like freaked and like, you know, on the inside, like for the four of us, it was awesome. We had a great time. I mean, it didn't work out in the end for us, but we still had a great time, and our career was better than ever. And um, but all around us, people were like freaking, like just like, oh my gosh, what's going on with All Time Low? And you know, meanwhile, we're just having fun with it, and and that was kind of the theme of it too. Just like you know, just calm down, relax, everything's gonna be fine. And yeah, that's where Don't Panic. Another but what did you think of that? All those people that thought what's happening with All Time Low, that must affect you in a way. It, you know, we didn't really we notice didn't, it. We didn't notice like, it because we were on tour constantly. Yeah, it was. It was. We one toured, of those... Yeah, we toured like 300 days last year or something. So like we were just so in the tour bubble. We were constantly just in a. We we're in whatever country. I mean, we toured almost the entire world. So yeah, and, and it was tough for us because, yeah, we, we were we were in this so much. We were touring. We were doing the record, and we were so proud of the songs, and we still are. I mean. And the shows were so good that like we weren't even paying attention really. Yeah, there was no negatives to us. I mean, besides for, like the business side of things, that kind of got a little funky, but that's nothing to do with us. And uh, so yeah, there was no negative attachment to it really, as far as like our careers and the way we felt about the band. We were better than ever. For the people who don't know what happened, uh, you, you it was just, signed with Interscope. Yeah, we signed with Interscope, uh, put out the record, and you know the record was was pushed back a little bit. And uh, at the end of the day, it just, we just realized it wasn't the best fit, and it was a pretty amicable split. Like it wasn't, it, there was no lawsuits or anything nasty like that. We we're just like, look, we think we belong somewhere else. You did great, but and there, and it was, it was yeah, pretty. Like, easy. All right, bye. We're like, cool, thanks. It, it was so <laughs> blown out of proportion by by everyone, by the fans, you know, by some media outlets. And anytime a band signs to a major label, there's always like, oh great, there they go. But you know. It's just not the way it went, unfortunately. I wish we had a cool story to be like, yeah, the A&R told us we needed to write this song, but it didn't happen. You know, every song that we write was because of us. So if you don't like it, you don't, that's us, you know? Yeah, not the label. Yep. You sort of uh, went back home to a homeless, a hopeless mm -hmm. record? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what did you know you'd find there that you didn't have with Interscope? Family. Yeah, well, the thing with Interscope is such a big label, and there's a lot of people working there, but there's also a lot of artists that, that kind of take precedence over you. Yeah. So I mean, like we were, we were up against like Gaga and like Eminem, and you know. Whereas Hopeless, I mean, there's like four or five bands on the label, you know. So they, they can just you just get a lot more concentrated love, I think. Yeah, and, and Hopeless isn't signing hip hop acts and, and major pop acts. You know, it's, it's all pretty much, um, some form of rock, whether it's pop rock, punk rock, 
anything like that. And they know, they found their niche and they know how to work us. And there was no like of that awkward month of like, okay, so you're Ian and you do what at the label? Yeah. And you know. And it's still, and it's still like the same, ex it's the same exact people that were there when we signed in, yeah. in 2006. It's really so, great. Yeah, everything awesome. about it has, I mean, the, the rollout, the, the meet, the marketing plans they have, everything about it is just perfect for they us. They understand our band. Yeah.